Earlier this year, I made my very own Pokecoin mystery packs. Now, even though these are now sold out, I've never opened them on a video for you guys. So today we're going to have a look, see what you can get inside, and any good hits will be given away to one lucky viewer. So here they are in all their glory, the Pokey Chloe mystery packs. Inside you get five Sword and Shield booster packs plus one bonus pack. And here are the bonus pack odds. You get pink as a minimum guarantee, and that is another Sword and Shield pack. You get black, which is seeded one in five, which could be a Sun and Moon era pack. You get silver, which is seeded one in ten and this could be a black and white or a diamond and pearl era pack and then gold is guaranteed watsy and this is seeded one in 25 so there are some examples of the packs that you can get and that is what the packs look like there's nothing on the back it's all on the front another reason i want to do this video is because i'm hoping to drop wave three of these booster packs in the new year so if there's something that you'd like to see changed for wave three let me know in the comments below so guys we have two mystery packs here Let's rip into them. Right, so here we go. We're gonna tear in to our first mystery pack and I'm gonna try my best to hide the bonus pack that is inside. I say that as I can't get into these very easily myself. They're so secure, I promise. They are so secure. Right, there we go. We've opened up. So I'm gonna pull out our five sword and shield packs. Now, there is a chance at something called a god pack and the god packs are slightly different. Whereas these have five sword and shield packs, as the packs that are included plus a bonus pack. A god pack has five sun and moon era packs and a gold bonus pack. I have seen them open many times by you guys. I've even opened them on live streams as well. So we're gonna savor that bonus pack in there for the moment and we're gonna rip into these and see what we can get. We're gonna start off with the sword and shield booster pack. This is the base sword and shield set upside down, but you guys can take it. The hit that I would want to get from this is that rainbow Snorlax. Do we think we can do it? I've pulled the VMAX so many times, but I've never managed to pull anyone the rainbow. So let's see if I can pull it for myself. What are we going to get? We get Cottony, Sinistee, and a Cramorant V to start us off. We're now going in with Rebel Clash. So also, out of the packs that you're seeing, the, uh, the five base packs that come out of here, let me know what your favorite set is what is the best pool that you would want to potentially pull from one of these sets we've got sets with golds rainbows and then we've even got sets with the likes of all arts as well the craziest thing i have pulled from a pokey chloe mystery pack one time for someone else on stream was the rainbow chonkachu and talking of alternate arts i have seen someone open up a mystery pack open up their battle styles pack and inside was the sleepy tyranitar it's been a long time since i've pulled that card so guys do we think we can change that today i have very recently just done a stream where we pulled five alternate arts it was madness these things don't happen very often but when they do it's crazy so can we get the sleepy tyranitar we get a bronzong hollow we're now going in with darkness ablaze where we can potentially pull that charizard v max guys it's been a while again since I've pulled that card, but let's see what we can do. So like I said, wave three is hopefully going to be dropped in the new year. I'd like to tweak a couple of things with the mystery packs, but if you guys have any feedback or anything you'd like to see added or change, please let me know in the comments. We get a Blaziken Hollow. And now we go in with Chilling Rain before we take a look and see what our bonus pack was. All these code cards, I feel like they're upside down. I don't know what's going on today. So right now in the live... Why do I keep saying that? When I pre-record videos, I'm like, right now in the live chat, no one's here with me. It's just me on my own in this lonely room. In the chat, let me know what you want to see pulled from the first bonus pack. And the first bonus pack from mystery pack number one. We're going in with a pink. And also, guys, you get your Pokey Chloe die cut stickers included as well. Right, let's see what we can get in here. So you can get Sword and Shield. I've seen Celebrations. I've seen Shining Fates come out of these. We added in a bit of a variation in the pink bonus packs just to keep it exciting. So our first bonus pack is, drum roll, please. We get Vivid Voltage. Can we do the impossible and pull that rainbow Pikachu again? I'm going to manifest it. Pikachu, Chonkachu, should I say, is on the pack artwork. So maybe it's a sign. Honestly, when I pulled it, I it's the only time I've ever pulled it, first of all, for someone on stream. And when I pulled it, it was... You don't... You don't 
fully register these things until they actually come out of the pack and it takes me a good like two to three seconds to be like oh my god we get a samurott non holo now we're gonna go in with mystery pack number two let's rip into it and see what we can get so we're gonna pull out our five sword and shield packs again but if these are sun and moon you know you we've hit a god pack right okay sword and shield so it's not a god pack but we still got the chances at getting pink black silver or gold mystery packs inside is that all of them yeah it is Let's take a look and see what we can pull. We're gonna mix up the order this time and we're gonna go in with Darkness Ablaze first. So like I said, open to any, oh, I don't know what's going on with the code cards today, but use them up guys, use them up. I'm open to any new ideas. Um, but what I like about the mystery packs I did put together is that when you hit gold, it is guaranteed Watsy. It's a guaranteed Watsy pack, which makes it super exciting. I have seen other mystery packs, um, similar sort of design. There's a few people that do them, but I wanted to add something that just gave it a slight edge. So I thought adding the God packs and adding the guaranteed Watsy in gold um, did that. And I have seen Neo Rev come out of the gold packs. I have seen Jungle. I have seen Fossil. But like I said, if there's anything you'd like to see slightly different, let me know. Should I bring in some different era packs? What do you think? We get a Bennett. We're going for that second chance at that Rainbow Snorlax. One day, guys, one day, I will pull it. And when I say I've opened up a lot of Sword and Shield base, it's been a lot. The struggle is real. But we keep going. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we can get. We get a Bisharp, Snom, Mana, Zigzagoon, Sizzlipede, double pull there, Chinchow, Gossiflor Reverse, and a Lantern. And one lucky winner. If we get some fire hits, we'll receive these as a giveaway. All you have to do is leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the mystery packs. Let me know what your favorite sets are that are available in the mystery packs. And if you opened one, what would be your dream hits? I'm sure everyone's going to say gold, but you never know. Someone just might want to pull a Cosmic Eclipse pack out of something. We get a Sunjourner Hollow. Let's see if we can get that Sleepy Tyranitar. Because that, for a giveaway for someone, would be incredible. Come on, Battle Styles. Do us proud. One of the tougher sets, maybe. I say, but it has got some good cards in it. You just have to add that spice, give it a chance. Okay, Honchcrow, Cedra, Roly Coley, Chimeco, Onyx, Sizzlipede, Glammeow, for Lynx Reverse, and a Marowak. We're now gonna go in for bonus pack number two. If you haven't commented down below, let me know what you think it's gonna be. We get, oh, we get a black bonus pack. So guys, that means we are getting a sun and moon era pack. The examples shown there are Ultra Prism and Cosmic Eclipse. What do we think is gonna be inside? And another Poke Chloe sticker for you all. Right, here we go. Let's rip into it and see what we can get caught. This is a tough one. Maybe it's hiding some goodies in here, okay. Opening it up and inside we have got, we've got Ultra Prism. Very, very nice. Okay, big hit from this set would be the Full Art Lily. Do we think we can pull it? That would be one pack magic at its finest if we can. Right, so it's four on the card trick for Sun and Moon. Here we go, guys. Send the luck my way in the comments right now. Because if it's a big hit, one of you guys is going to get it. If you haven't already, do remember to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you again next time.